Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about how time tracking can improve your productivity and I want to review this new time tracking tool called Rise. I think many people like to track their time using apps like Toggle or with pen and paper. A journaling method like industrial journaling that I talked about in a previous video is actually a great way to track your day and track your activities. Tracking your time and activities like this is actually very useful because it makes you decide what task you're going to work on next and focus on single task rather than multiple tasks. We all starting to realize that multitasking is a myth. In fact, when you're trying to do multiple things at the same time, you're simply dividing up your attention and focus and dumbing down all of the outcomes in the process. In the one thing which is one of my favorite books, Gary Keller said, we lose about 28% of our average workday to multitasking ineffectiveness. So focusing on one thing is actually one of the best productivity hacks I know. And tracking your time lets you do that because when you're tracking your activity, you usually have to pick one task you're about to do next. This is a great way to prime your brain to focus on that one thing. But to be honest, the biggest benefit of tracking your time is becoming more aware of how you spend your time. Just like that saying that goes, what gets measured gets managed. You have to become aware of your problems before you can address them. And tracking your time helps you tremendously become more aware of how you spend your time. Then you get to analyze what's good and bad and address your problems. Anyway, tracking your time manually with pen and paper is great, but there are some digital tools that allow you to track your time more accurately, which gives you more, you know, much richer data and insight. There are some time tracking apps like Toggle, but the thing about most of these apps is that you have to log everything manually, which is fine, but sometimes you just forget to do it or you find it cumbersome. But recently I came across this new tool called Rise, which tracks your time automatically and gives you very detailed insight of your day. All right, so this is what Rise looks like when you open it. It essentially tracks your activities on computer in the background and gives you an insight about how much time you spend on each activity. And of course, your data is completely private and won't be shared with anyone. Anyway, you can see your activities on the bottom left, which is also logged on your timeline at the top. Each activity is automatically categorized as you can see on the right. In my case, I'm usually switching between writing on Roam, task management on Ampunote, or video editing on Final Cut Pro. Or sometimes I get distracted on YouTube, which is shown as entertainment. Now, if you see the timeline again, some blocks have colors at the bottom. Blue blocks mean focus time, blocks with no color mean shallow work, and the black space between blocks are break time. Finally, you can see the total time worked and the time breakdown of the hours on the top right corner. I really like how you can get such detailed information about your day, which is definitely something tracking on paper cannot provide. What I especially like is that you can see interrupters for your work. When you click on each work block, you can see the list of websites and apps that distracted you the most, and how many context switching occurred, which takes away your focus each time. And finally, it shows you the quality of your focus time. It's nice to have this kind of matrix because it makes you aware of how many times you're actually getting distracted and how much that affects your focus time. Oh, and another thing I love about Rise is smart breaks. It gives you a notification after working for a certain period of time to take a break. I set mine for 25 minutes, so I can use it as kind of like the Pomodoro timer, where I get a notification every 25 minutes of deep work to get a 5 minutes break. Alright, so that was a very brief overview of Rise. Personally, I think it's incredible that you can get such a detailed breakdown of your day and how you spend your time to an extent that I've never seen before. And it was really surprising to see how much I get distracted in a day and how that affects my focus time. What's amazing about this is that you can see all of this information without you doing anything because everything is happening in the background. There is no need for manually entering information. Alright, if you want to try it, I leave the link below. The price is uh, $10 a month, which I think is fair, but some people might find it too much. But you can get two weeks free trial, so I think you should give it a try and see if you like it. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!